out of the many tools that we have at home, probably the most intimidating to use is the electric drill or power drill. In this video, I share with you my 9 power drill tips and tricks that would turn you into a power drill pro. And we're starting right now. For dark concrete surfaces, use a light dustless chalk to mark where you're gonna drill. It's easier to see and even easier to wipe clean with a damp cloth after you have drilled your hole. In making big holes to fit large top screws, drill first a tinier hole called a pilot hole using a smaller sized drill bit. Then follow through with the right sized drill bit. It's easier to make a small hole become bigger than a big hole smaller. When drilling on concrete surfaces, make sure that your drill is in the right setting. Look for a symbol that looks like a hammer and switch the mode selector there. Make sure that your drill is switched to rotate forward or clockwise to drill a hole. The reverse switch is for pulling the drill out of the hole. Always use the auxiliary handle, also known as side handle of your drill. It makes the drill easier to balance, manage, and control, and therefore safer to use. Use a spirit level or bubble level to ensure what you are mounting is perfectly horizontal or vertical. When the bubble is at the center, then you're leveled. Mark your drill bit with chalk or wrap tape around the spot that's equal in length as the top screw from the tip. Then drill until you reach this line, so that when you hammer the top screw into the hole, it will be flush with the wall. If you drill the hole that's too big for a top screw, fear not. You can actually create wooden wedges from a broomstick, wooden chopsticks, or branches. Thin them out with a knife as necessary, then cut them to a length that's equal or a bit shorter than the top screw. Then insert as many as it takes until the top screw cannot be pushed by hand.
Finally, hammer the top screw into the wall as you normally would. For example, you are mounting float shelves and you observe that the metal dowels that would hold them are drooping downwards, simply whack them with a hammer upwards until they become perfectly leveled.